Hi, Becca C. Smith here, and today I'm talking about being a nano rebel. First and foremost, thank you so much to Tamara Woods for putting this together for Project AuthorTube. She has done this for the last couple of years, I think maybe even longer, but she gets together a group of author tubers and we talk about all things NaNoWriMo. <laughs> because you know, this is like Christmas time for writers, NaNoWriMo, it's very exciting. And this year I am being a rebel. So I'm sure all, all of you know what being a rebel is, but for those of you that don't, which I'm sure there are none, <laughs> Is it basically means you're taking nano and treating it like a camp, like a camp nano, where you make your own goals. And I love being a rebel because it does take off all that pressure and stress that sometimes I admit I get a little bit <laughs> dive straight into when you're going for a more classic nano doing the 50k. Now, this is not to say that I don't love doing classic nano. When I have a draft of a book that I need to just fast draft and get out, it's perfect. NaNoWriMo, classic nano is perfect for that. But when you're in a position where you don't really have a new book to work on, you just have uh, projects that aren't finished like I am, it, being a rebel is really the only way to go. Only because you can use it to finish, you can just use it to make some progress. You can it's just a stress-free, helpful thing that you can do and still be a part of NaNoWriMo because that's the thing. Let's face it. NaNoWriMo whether you hit the 50k or not, it is really about the community, it is really about the support system, it is about all the authors from everywhere around the world coming together to write. Now, Word count, you know, that's the way the whole thing is set up, so it's fine, you know, I, I, I won't be getting all the badges. I mean, who knows, maybe I might actually write 50K of Hexphere. That would be great, but there is zero pressure to do that. Zero pressure. This is the key, zero pressure. <laughs> and that is, for me, the number one reason to be a rebel, especially this year, this year is, with COVID, with the election, if you're in the States, with all these things, it is a lot of stress, a lot. And if I had to add another 50K on top of that, I just, I can't, I can't. I'm going to be rooting for everyone that is trying and is gonna do it because awesome. But for me, I just can't commit to that because it's just too much for me right now. I mean, as you know, I took August off, so I do let things affect me. So, being a Nana Rebel is a good way to still be a part of everything, but no stress. The other thing is, is that I am working on my super secret project. And even though the month of November is out of my hands, that's all I can really say about it. So therefore, I can't do anything on the project itself. That means I have the whole month of, of November to work on whatever I want. So that is another reason why November worked out perfectly in the schedule. <laughs> but... What are you guys doing? Are you going to do classic NaNoWriMo this year or are you going to be a rebel like me and many others actually? I've been watching a lot of people's videos and it looks like a lot of people are being rebels this year. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and again, thank you Tamara. I love doing this and like I said, I just love that this is the best time of year for writers as a community because we're just all in it to write and create and ugh, I can't say enough. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.